Welcome to Ybor Flavors, which is a monthly show featuring Ybor City, Tampa's National Historic Landmark District. This weekend is all about the Italians. How are you? How are you? Great. Welcome to the Italian Club. Great. The Italian community is featured here at the Italian Club on 7th Avenue in Ybor City. I want to hear a little bit about the history. Can we go in? Yeah, come check us out. Great. Let's go on in. Joe, this is absolutely beautiful. This is Joe Calcedroni with the Italian Club. Thanks, Joe. How are you? Fine, fine. Now, so are you a member of the Italian Club? All my life. All your life? Yes. It's, uh, if you're born Italian, you're obligated to be an Italian Club member. And how old is the Italian Club? The, the Italian Club was formed uh, officially in uh, 1894. 1894. 1894. Past century. Con Yes, and it's continuous and still active. Is it? How many members do you have? I, I, we're well over 800 at the moment. 800 members? Yes, yes. In this building? Yes. Wow. Uh, now, do you have to be Italian to no, be a member? No, absolutely not. Okay. All you got to say is uh, you'll probably be Italian you're red. <laughs> absolutely. Really. Well, who wouldn't want to be a part of this beautiful club? Why was this built? What was it used for? Well... <laughs> It's a, really a long story, but uh, this is the second building they built. The first building was built right across the street in the uh, year about 1911, and then it burned down in 1915, and uh, they decided to build here. This is the second building. That first building only cost $40,000. This building in 1918 cost uh, 80000 Wow. <laughs> Today, you couldn't even get the foundation down for that. No, you couldn't. No, not even part of it. Well, this is absolutely gorgeous. I just love all the history, the murals, and I know that you do special events here. You do a lot of weddings and functions as well. Uh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, weddings, uh, our, we have uh, banquets. Uh, just last week, uh, we had a wine tasting. Was I was here. Just, that was a great uh, wine yes, tasting. Yes, it was. And, uh, of course, New Year's, we have our traditional New Year's dance. It's uh, something like a Hollywood production. Really, it's beautiful. Sounds like fun. And very formal. And most people are in tuxedo and the girls are in gown. And it's, it's, uh, I'm, listen, at my age, all I can do is reminisce. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, speaking about, you know, reminiscing, I see that behind us is a board. I'm um, actually a wall with oh, yeah. names, of family names. Is there a cemetery that is associated with the Italian Club? Oh yes, we have we have our own cemetery, uh, about seven acres of uh, uh, Italian cemetery. That was all started in 1900, and the reason for that was the the Italians didn't want to be buried with strangers, so they that was part of the uh, I call it HMO. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was just like the HMO except it went further than what we know as HMO. It went from, from birth uh, all the way to the cemetery. And where is the cemetery located? It's on 26th Street and uh, 22nd, 23rd, and 24th Avenue. And it's seven acres, and uh, you, have to, you have to see it. Uh, it's uh, one of the hidden treasure of Tampa. And uh, it just... It's hard to explain. You have to just go there. It's an open air museum. It's, uh, well, I look forward to it. It's all marble and granite. Marble and granite. And I know exactly where I go from here. <laughs> well, thank you so much, okay. Joe. It was a pleasure speaking with you and getting a tour of this very beautiful piece of history in Ybor City. Thank you. Thank you. The Italian Club has a lot of history and is recognized as one of Ebor's famous historic social clubs. The building is patterned like the other social clubs in that it has a cantina, theater and ballroom, each on separate floors. The club is still owned and operated by its membership. Besides hosting Italian Club events, the club is available for lease to private groups and special events. For more information, please contact the Italian Club office at 813-248-338. 16 or online at italian-club.org
One of the traditions Italians have is cooking, and prior to a festival, members of the Italian club spent countless hours preparing homemade recipes for all to enjoy. Let's go to Vince Pardo, another lifetime club member, to find out more about some sweet delicacies being made for one of this year's festivals. Good day. Today, I'm Vince Pardo with the Ybor City Development Corporation, and wanted you to see some of the some of the immaculate pre uh, preparation that goes into really putting on a good festival with homemade uh, uh, different delights from all of our ethnic groups in Ybor City. We're in the Italian Club building today with Mrs. Jenko. And she has become, the last few years, kind of our, our resident uh, for matriarch <laughs> for, for uh, doing anything regarding preparation of these. But Jacob, how long have you been making uh, cookies? Uh, for the... Actually, for the, uh, the Italian club, I've been making for 10 years. But all together? All together. So, I mean, with a lot of group of people, different people. But this one particular is going to make it to my house because now, and I was able to come over here, so I made them my, on my. You really will have homemade cookies that were made at Ms. Jenko's home. And we have another uh, small army that she kind of commands of they're making all sorts of cookies of this nature in their home. Ms. Jenko, can you describe the type of cookies we have here today? This one, you got it's, uh, fig noodles, fig mm. bars, whatever so the, you want to call it. Yes. And making all the figs, and they're going to ingrease in there, almond, dried figs, uh, honey, orange peels and the uh, cinnamon and a little bit of touch of pepper. Right. And, and what do we call these in Italian? Cudure di the fica. The real Sicilian. Yes. We'll see if we get a script name on that. Cudure <laughs> di fica. And then very quickly, we have here the uh, Jujulene. That's the sesame seeds, sesame the Jujulene. Jujulene. Those are the biscotti. Biscotti. They call it biscotti. These are anisette toast. Anisette toast. Anisette toast. Anisette toast. And these? And those are tarali. I just, that's the first time I'm making those ones. That's what they call Sicilian Tarali. Mm -hmm. Very beautiful. Um, this one's in over here. It's a seedless sesame seeds. But everybody, they say they have different tastes, but the same dough that I make the sesame seeds. Yes. And that's uh, wedding cookies. These are with almond flavor? Those are the non almond flavor. That's uh, walnut. Walnut. Crescent. Very good. Crescents. And those, the call of the tattoo, the real Sicilian name. But I call them chocolate cookies. <laughs> <laughs> a fa these are favorite when I, when I was a kid. This is very flavor flavored cookies. Yeah. Most people, they go crazy for this one. Right. And again, this is just one sampling of our Italian area. There'll be things from all the ethnic groups, Cuban, Spanish, Afro-Cuban, and a lot of varieties as well. Uh, I'd like to taste one of our culdrade, if I could, right there. This looks so moist. You taste take a bite with me? No. Okay. Okay, all right. Those are really mm. much, they're really tasty, they're really good. You say, buonissimo, buonissimo. <laughs> These are very traditional as the other ones are, but uh, we're going to have a treat now. We're going to go in the kitchen and see Ms. Jenko actually make the cudurata, the, the fig cookies right now. Cudurata di fica. Cudurata di fica. Right now, I'm getting the dough, and I'm ready to roll. I'm trying to fix and ready to roll. Make it very fine. Eh? Keep rolling until it gets very, very fine, like when you make lasagna. Right now, some roll of dough, they're making a, a fig newton, a fig bar. Mm -hmm. 